Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, I was just checking my collection uh, as I was just about to go to bed. And um, we have another malt in the collection, everyone. Uh, as you can see, this is my Strong Matter Palmer Calciatum, my Featherleg Baboon. Um, she's about a four inch female. And as you can see, she's webbed up absolutely loads at the bottom of her enclosure. Uh, doesn't really use her cork bark hide very much. Um, she has been out in the open for the last three or four months or so. And I was just looking through this part of the enclosure here. And I noticed there is a huge, huge malt just at the bottom of the uh, enclosure there. And yeah, we have another malt in the collection. She is around about a four inch female. So I reckon she's going to be four and a half, five inches. And there she is, everyone, right at the back of the enclosure. Um, I was just um, giving my Lampropalma via Slopes enclosure a mist, and that's right next to this enclosure. And then after I noticed that she'd molted, I thought, oh my God, I hope I haven't uh, disturbed her too much. So yeah, let's try and get a uh, closer look at her. And there we go, everyone. Bit of a better picture. Oh my god, she looks absolutely stunning. Nice, beautiful, fresh colours. Abdomen nice and small. Uh, like it's uh, meant to be after a malt. Some tranchlers' uh, abdomens are fairly big after malt, but uh, most of the time they're fairly small. So yeah, it looks like she's malted. Perfectly fine. As I said, about four and a half, five inch female now. So I was just counting the legs and the uh, pedipalps are all there. Just making sure that uh, she's malted perfectly fine. So the malt is still at the front of the enclosure. So I'll take that out. Uh, she has webbed up all the front of the enclosure as well. So it's a little bit difficult to open the lid. So I've got to be very, very careful with this particular uh, species. So yeah, let's uh, take them all out. And as you can see, everyone, <coughs> I've opened the front of the enclosure, just leaving it open with a uh, sling pot. So let's, I've got my two foot tongue, so let's just slowly retrieve the uh, malt. Oops. Don't think there's much, really much of a malt left. <laughs> there we go. Let's just put the malt down there. So everyone, <coughs> finally retrieve the malt. There's some beautiful colours there. And you can see the uh the large fangs, which, if you can't see them, are them two black lines just there. So yeah, it's a fairly big malt, and uh, it's um, fairly crispy. So it could have she could have malted, you know, a while ago. So yeah, while I'm here. I'll um, fill up the uh, water dish as well. So everyone, you can see the uh, water dish just down there. So let's uh, pour some water in. So again, just let it overfill. And yeah, that should be perfectly fine. So let's just uh, close the uh, lid. So everyone, as you can see, I've put the uh, enclosure back on the shelf. And I've gave the uh, enclosure a light mist as well. Because I don't really want to disturb her too much now. So I'll leave her to harden up. And the body and the fangs. And same again, I'll leave her for two weeks. So she's fully recovered from her malt. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.